Stop wasting so much time with back and forth messy emails trying to schedule meetings. Instead, you can use an online scheduling software to quickly allow prospects or customers to conveniently schedule appointments with you in just a few clicks. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all well. Now today the focus is to help you streamline your process for scheduling meetings by walking you through how to use HubSpot's free appointment scheduling software. Okay, so before we dive into this HubSpot tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and launch into HubSpot's free appointment scheduling tool. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a meeting scheduler within HubSpot's CRM. Now, if you're completely new to HubSpot's CRM, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will take you through a complete tutorial to help you get started with HubSpot. And if you don't currently have a HubSpot account, feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that will take you here. Now it's important to note that that link is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan in the future, then we will get a small commission without having any extra costs fall back on you. And this just helps us continue to create educational content for this channel. So thank you in advance if you decide to use that link. Okay, so now what we're going to do is meet you inside your HubSpot CRM. And here we are inside our practice HubSpot CRM account. Now to locate your meeting scheduler, simply navigate up to sales and click on sales, then simply come down and click on meetings. And over here is exactly what we're going to create inside HubSpot's CRM. This is a scheduling page that we can then share to our contacts, our prospects and customers. And this will reduce the time that we spend with messy emails going back and forth, trying to arrange appointments and meetings. So simply navigate over to get started. Now, the first essential activity that we need to complete before we create our scheduling page is to connect our calendar with HubSpot's CRM. You can either connect your calendar here or within settings. So what we're gonna do is simply click connect calendar, then simply choose the most appropriate calendar that you want to use for your scheduling page. For us, we use Google Workspace for our business. So we're gonna go ahead and connect our Google Calendar. And then once you've selected your calendar, come down and click connect your calendar. I'm going to come down and click accept and connect to Google. Here is the Google account I want to connect to. And all we need to do is simply click allow. And just like that, we've connected our calendar to the HubSpot CRM. Now, in order to get more extensive features out of the booking page, the scheduling page, then you will need to upgrade to the Sales Hub Starter. And that's gonna allow you to use your own personal branding. Not only that, but you can create multiple booking forms, multiple scheduling pages. At the moment, under the free plan, you only have access to one scheduling page, that has already been generated for us. Over here, we can edit our scheduling page. We can copy the link and send this to our contacts. And we can also embed this scheduling page on our website. Now, if we navigate up to create scheduling page, you'll notice that we do not have access to these other meeting types. And we also do not have access to create another personal scheduling page within HubSpot's free CRM. Like I mentioned, you will need to upgrade to the Sales Hub Starter in order to access these other features. For example, we have group scheduling over here and then a more advanced round robin feature. So what we're gonna do is exit out of this and then navigate down to our default scheduling page that we can now customize the way that we like. So in order to customize your default meeting page, your scheduling page, simply click edit. First, you wanna go ahead and add an internal name for your meeting page. This is for your own reference. And then down under organizer, you can see that I'm responsible for these scheduled events. Then below organizer, we have title, 
I'm going to keep the internal name and the title name the same. Then simply come down to location. This is where you want to add the location of your meeting. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to add Zoom as our location for our meetings because our organization works remotely and all our meetings are through Zoom. However, you can specify any location that you like. Now, if you still need to determine a location, maybe you need to arrange a location with the individual that has booked through your booking form, your scheduling page, then you can always add something like to be arranged. Then simply come down and add a description about your meeting. And then once you've added your description down here, we have some formatting options that we can use to further customize our description. We can also insert links into our description if we like. And then if we come down, we have the option to include in our description, a cancel and reschedule link. And that's going to allow people to cancel and reschedule through our description. So what we're going to do is navigate over here and turn that on. And as you can see, the recipient can now reschedule and cancel their appointment. What we want to do now is come down and click save to save all our changes. Then simply navigate up to overview and below overview, we want to click on scheduling and then come down to title. And what I'm going to do is add strategy session with Stuart and then come down to duration options. This is where you can offer different time durations that individuals can book. What I'm going to do is remove 30 minutes and remove 15 minutes. We just want to have one hour in here for this strategy session. However, you can add multiple durations if you like, and then come down and make sure that you have your appropriate time zone selected and then come down to availability window. This is when you are available for individuals to book through your scheduling form. For example, at the moment we have Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. through to 5 p.m. And you can go ahead and customize this based on your personal requirements. Then come down to additional settings. Under additional settings, you can choose a image from organizer avatar, company avatar, or custom image. And this will show on your form. And then below when a meeting can be scheduled, you can see we only have the option over a period of rolling weeks. We can navigate down here and customize these. And I'm happy with my set period of rolling weeks this week and next week. Then if we come down to minimum notice time, this is the minimum amount of time before a meeting can be booked. If we click here, I'm going to come down and click one hour. Then down under buffer time, this is the padding around your meetings you can't be booked for. Again, let's say because I work remotely, I'm going to keep 15 minutes selected. So essentially there will be at least 15 minutes between possible bookings. Then down here under start time increment, I'm going to keep 15 minutes selected as well. And then under book page language, we're going to keep use visitors browser settings selected as well as for under date and time format, we're going to keep use visitors browser settings selected also then come down and click save when you've made any changes what we're going to do is navigate back up to the top and then click on form and then under form field you can see that these are fields that our prospects and customers need to answer before booking with us for example first name last name and email unfortunately you do not have access to add additional properties or create custom questions with HubSpot's free CRM, you will need to upgrade to the Sales Hub Starter. Then to prevent spam, we recommend turning this on. And then down here, we have the option to turn on privacy and consent, which basically allows you to add consent checkboxes and text to your form to follow privacy laws and regulations. If you want to learn more about this, simply click learn more. What we're going to do is come down and click additional settings and then scroll down here. I suggest keeping pre populate fields with known values and then keep auto submit form when all fields are pre populated. We're going to keep this off and then I'm happy with all the other default settings. So I'm going to come down and click save and then navigate back up to the top and then click on automation. And within automation, we want to make sure that the confirmation email is turned on. This will send a confirmation email to attendees immediately after they schedule a meeting. We can also click send test email 
to test what their email will look like. We can also add a pre-meeting reminder if we like, which is a great idea to remind your attendees. I'm also going to come down and click include the invite description in the reminder email body. And I'm happy with these default settings here. Then come down and click save. And now that we've completed customizing our scheduling page, simply navigate back to meetings. And then to simply view your new scheduling page, simply come down to your meeting and click on the link to view. And this is what our scheduling form, our meeting booking form will look like for our visitors. For example, if I was a visitor and I wanted to book a strategy session with Stuart on the 28th of January, which is this Friday, I could click 28. Then as you can see, the meeting duration is already selected as one hour because we didn't add additional options. Then down here, the visitor can simply select any of these options. And because there are currently no meetings scheduled, you can see that all these times are available on that day. Now, if we head back to our HubSpot CRM, we can also navigate over to our form and click copy link. And that's gonna copy the link to our clipboard, which will then allow us to paste this link across all our different channels for our audience to book meetings with us. For example, I could add it in my email to send to recipients for them to then book through the link. I could also add it as a link from a button, say for example, on my Facebook page, that would then take them to this booking form. And you can use this link all across your different channels to drive bookings, to drive meetings. So I hope that helped. That is how you create a booking page, a scheduling page within HubSpot's free CRM. And there we have it guys, that is it for this HubSpot meeting scheduler tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.